I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It's terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, wow. how good was that? Absolutely ace. That was made for us by Jack Gariato, who is a freelancer on the Fiverr platform, which you've just seen is a place to find and team up with awesome digital creators to bring your creative ideas, or in our case, ridiculous ones, yes. to life. Keep your eyes peeled for more of this <laughs> <laughs> throughout the rest of the show. Hello, boys. Hi, Hello. Janice. Janice. What's our festive theme? Today's theme is Vegan Christmas. You're hosting a Christmas get-together with your nearest and dearest vegan friends. Please prepare a festive vegan meal to fill them with cheer. Can we, can we all agree, meal. all agree, a nut roast is off the table? I don't have any friends, let alone vegan friends, <laughs> so I'm out. Janice, is there an order? The order will be decided by hat height. Hat height? Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm big. A, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit floppy. So, to, 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 uh, I could first. You go first. I obviously. could be better, but at the moment I'm a bit. You're a bit floppy. Where am I? I feel like me and you are pretty. Are we? How? How? No, are yeah, you? Mike. Mike, you are. You are standing tall. Uh, am I? Then uh, Baz, you oh, really? Got a bit of a... Oh, oh no, oh, this then... is bad. <laughs> oh, finish no, off with my no, floppy. No. Ebers. No. Stand to no. Ebers, no. Jolly good. Get out. Oh, I have no idea what <laughs> no, I'm going to do. Oh, mate. Oh. I am in big trouble. Okay, I have no idea really what I'm doing, which is always a good start. Could we do like a quick braised cabbage with some Christmas spices? Um, could we do a cauliflower cheese featuring non-cheese? So basically, in the past, we have blended up soaked cashew nuts with boiled potatoes and some other bits to emulsify it, and you can actually make a vegan cheese sauce. How do I communicate that to the other guys? Uh, let's get some potatoes. I'm sure it was potatoes because they're starchy. We've got instant mashed potato. Please tell me that this is vegan. Vegan, 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 vegan! Oh, am I boiling braised cabbage? Yes. Oh man, I told myself I wasn't going to panic, but I tell myself that every single episode of this stupid show. Let's get some cauliflower heads. Let's get cauliflower frying off, season that. Jamie was in this video that I'm, that I'm thinking of, so hopefully he can just get it. The process is, soak those, then you drain them, and then you blend them up with potatoes and other starchy stuff, and some stock, stock. Veg stock, and mashed potato and it kind of makes a creamy cheesy sauce um, then that can go with our cauliflower that's frying off i'm gonna turn that down so it doesn't burn now and then we've kind of got a spiced cauliflower cheese cheese thing we've got some braised stuff with some spices breadcrumbs okay i have no idea whether or not these clues are going to be enough, but I've done all I can. I'm going to give myself a five. I think I had some good ideas, but I'm not sure I've communicated them correctly. Jay! Here we go, here we go, here we go, ho, ho! Cauliflower, whoa! It's just cabbage water. <laughs> ah! Ah! Right. Right. I still don't really know where we're going. Could we pan a... <laughs> right. Uh, if I can just interrupt, did he actually look at any of the vegan protein options on the table? Vegan star bacon... I know what we're doing. 
I've never seen him move so fast. Christmas isn't Christmas without pigs in blankets. Now, these are going to be very happy pigs. So, <laughs> let's make some happy pigs. Why are they happy? Because they're still alive. Right, vegan bacon or pastrami. That's nearly bacon, that'd be right. Defrost fully before cooking. FFS. They're going into a microwave. In the meantime, redemption. Let's make whiskey gravy. Shot of whiskey. Maybe a little bit more. No, Jamie, that's where you went wrong last time. Leave it at that. Do that. Cook that off a little bit. Do we have fire? Do we have fire? Maybe this will help. Catch. We have fire. I found it in my handbag next to my love eggs. Now, I don't want to be a party pooper, but doing this is very dangerous. So please be careful. Unless you're Jamie, who clearly doesn't care for his eyebrows. Fire! Burn off the alcohol. That's where we went wrong last time. Christmas. Everyone sat round the log fire, having a lovely time. That's fine. Now, let's add <laughs> four heaped teaspoons. One, two, three, four. Whiskey gravy. Let's see if that's any better than the last time that I tried to make whiskey gravy. One of these days, I'm going to get sacked for doing stupid stuff like this. Yeah, pigs and blankets. Into the oven. Excellent. Cashews going in here with some of the water. Blend. Oh, I know what we're making! I know what we're making! I've just figured it out! Yes, right! Oh, look, 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 look! We have cauliflower. It's cooked off. It's going into this pot here. Oh, Mike, you're a genius. Uh, and then, we're putting in this cashew nut mix, which is gonna be like our cheese. We're making cauliflower cheese, but it's vegan. Yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I probably should have mixed some of this in beforehand. Mustard. Done. I'm going to give myself 7.93. Barry! Okay, let's go. Yeah. Firstly, got to say, uh, having yourself animated like that is the coolest thing ever. And the weirdest thing is, it's not the first time. We did a cookbook a little while ago called Ultimate Battles, where we were animated into superheroes, and this guy called Kobe Toons, also from Fiverr, animated us. What is that? Is this a cauliflower, not cheese? Okay. That's not bad. Season. And... Into here to bake. Oh, oh, Jamie, <laughs> what is that? Okay, what's in here? Hot water. Oh my God, it's, it's cabbage. That's just cabbage water. What's he expected to do with that? Right, we're gonna have to get rid of that water. Oh my God, look at that color. <laughs> Whack that on full pelt. Let's add a load of fruit. Sultana's going in here. Is that why this is here? Is that here for a reason? Okay, maybe I was being harsh. That's quite clever if that is the idea. Red wine vinegar, mixed spice. Uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Cinnamon, sure. Oh, Brussels sprouts! Didn't see those there. There's a lovely hot pan that is very, very hot. Let's get those in a hot pan with oh, oh my god, cabbage mix. Gonna go. You know, I think I need some sugar or something sweet. I might get some honey in there or something just to kind of give it a bit of zing. Ah, oh, orange juice. Not a very juicy orange, but okay. That's just overcooked cabbage now. Uh, let's, let's prep some Brussels sprouts. I love them. They're my favourite thing on the Christmas table. Cool to them. They cook quickly. Okay. Into a pan. A bit of olive oil. Brussels are starting to brown off. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm going to stick a bit of honey in this mix to kind of give this some sweetness as well. Otherwise, is honey vegan? 
It's honey vegan. Anybody can anybody help me? It's honey vegan. Oh no. Have I just thrown that dish away? It wasn't the best thing here, but have I just thrown it away? Have I just ruined it? Oh no. Okay. Finish with the Brussels. And they're done. I think we're doing okay. If honey is vegan, I give myself an eight. If it's not vegan, I give myself zero. <laughs> Remember, 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 Christmas joy. Okay, it looks like every normal has contributed something different, and I like the look of most of it. Maybe not the pigs in blankets. Carnage, carnage, carnage. What is there? What can I add? This is. Ah! <sighs> I'm worried about a couple of things here. I also saw this. I'm hoping that hasn't been used. Amarula is definitely not vegan. I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of stuff because the theme here now is just loads of stuff is going on and we're going to put loads of small dishes on the table to share. But I've only got a few minutes to add to it, so I'm only going to add little things that cook quickly. Very tempting to glug butter around the veg dishes, but we must not do that today. Oil is fine. Mushrooms, garlic. We normally have a meat centerpiece. I think somebody has provided that for us in the form of some vegan pigs in blankets. And I can only presume there's one person that's done that. To think that that's our centerpiece. It's not, I can't, it cannot be our centerpiece. Our braised cabbage. It's looking okay. The cabbage is cooked. It's got some sultanas in. I'm adding a bit more sweetness in the form of caramelised onion marmalade. That's going to cheat that for us. But alone, that would be too sweet. So a little bit of vinegar. It's like sweet and sour red cabbage. I like the fact it's got the dried fruit in there. And that is now side dish number two. This is lots and lots of almost buffet style family service. And I kind of like it. One, two. Some rosemary, quite cabbage heavy. I bought some chestnuts because they are a wonderful ingredient at Christmas. A handful crumbled into these mushrooms. Lovely. Salt and heavy on pepper. I hope that pan is now really hot because into it we're going to go the Savoy cabbage. And I'm thinking a vegetable side dish called chakrut. I think it's traditionally sausage or charcuterie meat in sauerkraut. So, we can achieve exactly that with our... Yeah. Okay, two and a half minutes, some thinking time now. We make a very simple chacrute dish. I know what's missing from that, a little bit of... Da -da -da -da, which I did see. Spring onions. So there's four of us at the table. And traditionally, it would have sausage or charcuterie through it. So that is the option, because there's no way I'm serving that as a centerpiece. Oh, they're not great. They are not great. 40 seconds. time up. I'm quite hot under this hat, but I'm going to score myself eight elves out of ten. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. We've all got our sleeves rolled up. It's because it's hot in here. It's because it's done a lot of hard work. Who does cooking in a jumper? Why are there three cloches? Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous about this. I really went down a road. We're here to spread Christmas joy and I think we have quite a spread. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. oh. We only have three cloches, so I had to put it. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh. Interesting, you've gone for Christmas tapas. No. Gone for family or, style. Or, or crapass. Crapass. <laughs> yeah, crapass. Yeah. <laughs> this might be the first time I've ever started something first and it's ended up onto <laughs> well the. Well done! Someone's 
performed a Christmas miracle. <laughs> why, are the, why is there a Satan roll up in the cabbage? I think these are meant to be pigs and blankets, aren't they, Jeez. Jamie? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. I'm so happy that you're here. I'll tell you what, this braised cabbage is very nice. I think the cauliflower's cooked really well. I think the sauce is less saucy. It's more kind of like... It could do it more Bread sauce. sauce. It's like bread sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. I, do you know what? I think I learned something. Is Bisto gravy vegan? No. I had no idea. Is it really? Yeah. It was on the table, so I presume. No, but the trouble is, no. so was this. I walked into the kitchen and somebody brought that across, and that's definitely not vegan, as is the honey. So I'm glad they weren't used. Flipping hell. Oh, that's quite nice. As if this wasn't hard enough, I like that the food team still tried to shaft us by putting <laughs> non-vegan stuff on the table. <laughs> there is vegan cheese in a pot on the table. I actually like the fact that we, we've pummeled our own nuts to get there. But in fairness, in fairness, <laughs> I, I nearly... <laughs> <laughs> what? Hang on, so What's we're getting, going we're, we're on? Getting, we're getting waved at by the food team. Sweetness. Yeah, I was just, just, I was just to, to kind of give it a lift. It was all the, the seasoning triangle. So a bit of vinegar, um, saltanas, um, the, the Christmassy flavours, a bit of honey, and then mix it up and... and, and, and no! So that was used. Did you use... Uh, no, you did Didn't you do this time? last time? I might have done it last In time. In here. So we have to completely discount. This is not vegan. I, I apologise, that's my screw up. Sorry, oh all vegans. Oh my gosh, that was so close, but it's delicious though, isn't it? I mean, it's as long really as lovely. the bees are looked after well. Yeah. That's the best tasting of the five, and it didn't need the honey. It had the red onion marmalade chutney thing. Well, scoring time, I gave myself a five, because I thought I ventured in a place where no one else would realise. Um, and it's a fail, because that's got bees in it. <laughs> I went for 7.93, because I thought the fact that I got that at the end, I was so happy. Yeah, that, I'd give you a 10. And not only that, I managed to do a couple of other things at the same time, they were all vegan. I'm tempted to give that a pass. But we wouldn't be even questioning this if some idiot hadn't put honey in it. No, no, no. If honey is vegan, I get an eight. Well, <laughs> that's not a question. <laughs> if it's not, I got a zero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I plate that up as one portion, it's missing that dimension. So I think it's a fail. So I score myself quite generously with Obviously. an eight. Oh. Do you gift to yourself generously on Christmas Day? Well, if somebody has to. Oh. <laughs> I think it's clutching at a pass. Ooh. I think there is an element of joy to this. I'm not sure it's joyous, but I'm saying pass. Just. We're straight down the line. So we can't decide. So it's over to you in the comments. Do you agree with me and Ben or with Idiot and Mike? <coughs> Let us know in the comments down below. And a huge thank you to Fiverr and Jack for the sprinkling of holiday magic that they brought to this episode. If you want to use Fiverr yourself and grab 10% off, there's a link downstairs. You can go try it yourself and use the code. So close to a miracle, but happy, happy holidays. Merry happy Christmas, regardless. Merry Christmas. There's, there's an element of joy, and we've had fun. <laughs> <laughs>